Many games have treasure chests or crates or other objects the player can interact with to get a bunch of collectible items like coins. So new script on our chest. And what do we want it to do? Well, uh, we want it to open up and treasure to come out of it, coins to come out of it. How are we going to do that? Well, first of all, we will uh, disable the chest's physics and we'll target the player so we can save it as a variable to check if we're overlapping it. And then when we're overlapping the player, we're going to animate the chest to open up and then we'll spawn a bunch of coins out of it. So, number one, we'll, we'll say when the level starts, disable my physics, set physics enabled to false from physics, and then we want to be able to target the player. So we'll go to variables, under properties, set true false i, change true false to instance because the player is an object, and uh, let's make a new variable for this called player. Set instance player to, remember the first thing we can find with that tag, that's from sensing, first instance by tag player. Alright, now there's one other variable we'll put in here to keep track of whether or not the chest has been opened. So we'll go to variables, make a new property variable, set true false, opened will be a true false variable. Uh, have I been opened, so new variable called uh, opened. There we go. So set true false opened. Set it to false. It hasn't been opened to begin with. Alright, now we want to be constantly checking if it's been overlapped. So if. And then from sensing down the bottom, myself overlaps toucher. Well, we don't have a toucher, but we do have a player. If myself overlaps player, what am I going to do? I am going to check whether or not I've already been opened. Because if I've been opened and I'm overlapping the player again, doesn't really matter. We want to check if I haven't been opened yet. So we want if I haven't been opened. So if, uh, we can do this in two ways. We can say if opened equals false. If opened equals false. Or we could say if not opened, and that not block is from operators, means the same thing. So if I'm not opened, I'm then going to open. First of all, we'll set opened to true. Set opened to true. And then we're going to play that animation, because we actually want the chest to look different. So we'll grab from animation, play animation name. Let's make that open open now we'll test all this out make sure it works so we'll click play uh, we will call this our uh, uh, treasure chest here we go very nice